Yes, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz Universe. My name is Martin Dogger, and we have episode 12 today of the best Blitz replays. And this one is a bit different than the usual ones in that it hasn't got all wins in it. It's not all aces either. There is, in fact, a second class match uh, in this game as well. But it does have a theme of uh, strictly German, German tanks today. Uh, tomorrow will be a lot of German tanks as well, but this one will hold uh, the Tiger 2 here at Faust. We're gonna have a match in the Jagd Tiger, then a Moss game at Desert Sands, and we'll finish off with the VK101P, the new Tier 8 German heavy tank. And all of these games focus a lot on blocking damage. And this one is uh, was sent in to me on the Discord channel, I think. And yeah, it, it's not a game where he's going to do a lot of damage. And the he in the tank is Mick Skywalker in the Tiger 2. I think he sent me this one on the uh, Discord channel. And you can see already he's not only one minute into the game. He managed to shoot the Borsig once. Has a bit of lag over here. But he already blocked 1k of damage. Bounces a shot on the 80-15 on its tracks, then goes for the cupola, doesn't pop the adrenaline yet, 80-15 is fairly busy shooting, I think the Eshu um, on his right hand side, no, he's shooting the lower probably, but you can see Mig has already blocked 1230 uh, damage, and as he moves forward he's now in a Perfect side paper position. 80-15 can't do anything really. The lower wants to get stuck in, so you just uh, drive in front of an 80-15 and then you get wrecked by a Pershing because that's how you play with. You just roll forward and get blown up. But Mick is doing an admirable job here at just holding the line. And if you then look at the minimap, uh, you can see two of the tanks of his team that are flanking. They are one tank down, they are two tanks down now, which means they have to hold the line here. But that is what Mick is doing. He is not desperate, he is not in the mood to go forward and do damage just because he uh, wants to. Because he knows that if he sits here, that 80-15 can shoot him all day long. At this angle, it will not penetrate. If he moves further backward, they might be able to shoot his cupola or uh, the front of his uh, turret. But at 80-15 can only shoot tracks and so does the KV-5. Yet another bounce. Look at that. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. It just bounces off. And he does shoot the uh, KV now and he also bounces because, yeah, you can't expect... To. Oh, he penetrates. Lovely stuff. Lovely shot. Um, and I think this one is going to bounce then, even with APCR. There it is. Yeah, that one bounces. But you can't have them all. You can't have them all because if you bounce um, 5k damage in total in the game, which is going to be uh, now, I think. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Lovely. If you bounce 5k total, in the match then yeah you can't expect to penetrate all of your shots but Mick is also at 1500 damage done himself goes to clear the IS over there there's 1713 damage has a broken engine and used both of his repair picks uh, that's a bit unfortunate but he can shoot the AT-15 there bounce on the cupola but bother shouting this match is won and I think this is an uh, no small measure due to Mick being there, sitting in the right position. And at first I was thinking, right, he's done 1713 damage and 5k blocked. Turned out he had done uh, a bit more, about 2k damage, which is really good. If you have 1600 hit points and you can do 2k damage consistently, you're bound to win a fair few games. And if you can block 5k, and then you will allow your team to flank Pretty good gameplay, um, in my opinion, so that's why I wanted to include this game. Thank you very much for sending it in, Mick Skywalker. Uh, you made it to the best Blitz replays. And we're gonna move up a tier with Jukes52 in the tier 9 Jagdtiger, the German tank destroyer with really good DPM, not the best in class or the best in game anymore. That uh, honor goes to the SU-12254, which I've reviewed recently on the channel. But this tank is a really good one too, with a fast firing gun, good penetration and really good frontal armor. And it's a game on Alpenstaat, a supremacy game as you can see. Um, 
And Duke is going to wait a bit because the tanks bumping into each other. A T44 bumping into an IS-8 and then a Tiger 2 wants to move and then the Lerbo wants to move. And yeah, Panzer 2 wants to move. And after about 15-20 seconds, Duke decides to move as well. And that's a good thing. Reds are capturing B. Um, nobody spotting A, really. There is a tank pushing in fairly aggressively. That looks to be a Pershing, I think. And they have a tank on the left side, which is probably the T-44, who is overwatching the C area. And Jukes has got some work to do. And you can already see he's thinking, right, there's no one there on A. They've captured B. There have to be tanks on this flank, and lo and behold, there is a T-54, what's it, 1450 CDC maybe? Um, it's a T-Raid, that's for sure. He misses a shot, he spots yet another enemy. Oh, let's drive in front of a Jagdtiger, yeah, let's drive in front of a Jagdtiger. Hello, T-26 E4. Jukes is in a bit of a pickle now, he has to move back because the Jagdtiger has got a good front plate, but it has a very weak lower plate, and the T-26 E4, it's not the best in terms of penetration but it does have a good gun and good AP so and Jukes wiggles around a bit uh, makes sure that he can shoot tanks over there and still has a bit of gun left bounces on the front of that T26 E4 and he only now does he move back just a bit more trying to make the T26 E4 shoot his front trying to get the gun depression to work and especially hide that lower plate hello lower why not just move in front of a Yark Tiger oh hello T26 E4 you're still there yes yeah you're still there well let's just bounce the first shot 225 blocks keep an eye on the left side of the counter HE from the T30 I think maybe from the Lerva not a block shot and Jukes has to be a bit careful now with his hit points for 33. There is a T30 hull down over there, but you can see what he's doing here. Just like uh, Mick was doing in the Tiger 2, he's holding the line here. Wiggle, wiggle, make them shoot the mantlet. Lerba's had enough, he's moving away, he, but <laughs> Jukes can put a shot in. Panther 2 has had enough, he moved away, got shot, then comes back. Oh, hello, let's get shot by a Yacht Tiger. Bouncing shots from the T30, bouncing shots from, I think it's the ISU on the left side. 3.2k damage, yet another block shot, yet another block shot, and another one. There we go. Can we get to 4k blocked damage? Hello, Lerber. Yeah, let's just face... <laughs> let's just face your butt and get shot up. Yes! Because that's how you play Blitz. What if, uh, would it have been possible for Reds to win this game? Well, I don't know. Not, not like this, not if you allow a Yacht Tiger to sit in a depression and just really farm. It's it's what he did, he, he doesn't get the 4k block, but 3.8k block, 4.8k damage. He just allowed his team to flank. And the Reds allowed him to do the damage. But still, this was good positioning. And yes, he may have been sort of camping in a way because he was in just one spot. But this was really effective. So, good game, good block damage. Thank you very much, Jukes52, for sending that one in. It fits nicely into the theme of block damage and uh, German steel, yeah. So, almost and upwards into the next game, which is a mouse on Desert Sands. And the mouse is being driven by Prince Dan, and it is adorned with the legendary camouflage uh, which was released in honor of legion clan winning 2017 twister cup 2018 twister has been won by raid clan from the eu congratulations on that one very well deserved some really lovely tactics uh, you've shown on fortress power with the grill pushing onto uh, onto the hill behind uh, just outside of the map really um, brilliant gameplay well deserved I'm not sure wargaming haven't announced uh, a camo for raid yet but would be lovely to see more clan camos really in the game um, prince dan seemed to have a bit of lag because the mouse suddenly moved forward f a bit quicker and he's pushing towards the c cap and this one is a really good example of blocking damage yes it is it, it it's monstrous. It is a joy to behold. You can see he's slowly moving around, slowly moving around. Reds have captured A, which is unfortunate because all of his team is in the town area. And that means if they can't clear any tanks over here, they will just get outflanked 
outspotted, outgunned and out DPM'd. And an IS-7 versus a Morse is an interesting uh, duel, really. You've seen that in 2017 Twister, when um, Thomas um, had to fight it off, or me and Roos against an IS-7. But in terms of damage blocked, you can see that Prince Dan has already blocked 1,380 damage. And look at this shot. At the engine deck of the IS-7, really lovely shot. He has to go forward just a little bit more to uh, keep the IS-7 from capturing C. But he's losing teammates at an alarming rate as well. He's done 498 damage, blocked 1,380. He's going to block a whole lot more. There it is, above 2k already. 2,480. They are one tank... Sorry, they are two tanks down. Um, the grill is out, which is unfortunate, a big gun. And that's the type of guns you want to have in the game. And he still has that IS-7 to deal with. Just keeps looking away from the IS-7 and the E-100. Reds are capturing B now as well, they have A already. There we go, through the cupola with AP, leaves him at 142. Can he give just enough, just enough to... No, E-4 can not kill the IS-7 unfortunately. He does block another shot from the IS-7, moves him forward, is capturing C in the meantime as well. Waiting for a block shot, yes there is, kills the IS-7. He's going to block a shot there is from the E100. But, oh boy. They are two versus three. And it is a near on full health E100 to deal with. That's the first damage he's taken. He's at 4k blocked already. And yet another shot into him. He wants to uh, take care of that object 263. And look at what he's doing over here. Hello 263. I'm just going to side hug you. I'm going to side hug you so you can't shoot. Anybody <laughs> love that gameplay. Bounce a shot, get penetrated by the Yakpans even. This is going to be really annoying. Oh, God. Can you survive, mate? Can you survive? Oh, yet another block shot from 263. He is going to kill the 263, hopefully. No, yeah, let's bump into the E runner. And to the mouse, he doesn't. And the Yakpanzer, can you block more? Yes, yes, we can. One block, two blocks, three blocks. <laughs> 7,000 blocked. Come on. Let him have it! Let him have it! Oh, that's unfortunate. There's a tank behind him. There's a dead PJ. The E4 clears the Yakpans even on it. And he's at two hit points now. That means any HE splash from the E100 should do the trick. The E4 wants to use HE on the back of the Object 263 here now. You can see that from the damage, but gets a really low roll. And yeah, that is. Not the type of shots you want to have. He blocks yet another shot from the T-63, which was HE. Then the E-100 rolls in. He's going to shoot him and he's going to bounce him. Yes, 640. 263. Can you clear him? No, use AP. You wanted to use HE. Had to switch ammo again and that made him bounce on the back of the 263. And I'm not sure if he would have been able to win that one because you can see the panic happening here. He, uh, the E-4 does not manage to clear a tank. He has 9.2k blocked, puts a shot <laughs> into the E263, blocks yet another shot, nearly 10k blocked damage before he finally crumbles and gets killed by the 263. Yes, LMAO, definitely. And a great way of showing how to play the mouse, how to block damage. It is unfortunate your team didn't manage to clear just the one tank or was able to push because 10k blocked hats off hats off to you prince dan really well played um i think you would have deserved at least a third class medal for that one just for blocking all the damage but uh, hey ho it wasn't to happen but you made it onto the best splits replays i loved watching that game thank you very much for sending that in prince dan and that leads us into the last game for today Devi One Dog or Devil Dog from Ampro's Clan, my own clan, in the VK 101B. The new Tier 8 German heavy tank. I have it unlocked on my own account at the moment, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm gathering footage, hoping to do uh, some more matches on my own account. I have a few good matches uh, on the press account already for a video, so that one should be out hopefully next week somewhere around that area. Uh, lots of other bits coming in as well. Spotting guide, an uh, Opicon 40 versus T62. A comparison, I've got the footage for that. Just need to do the commenting and editing and cropping, etc. 
So, lots of good stuff coming up on the channel. If you want to support me, please subscribe. And if you want to support me so I can do some more videos, you, you can become a patron. Um, you can sponsor me for as little as a dollar per video or even a dollar per month. But anything you will do to sponsor me will flow back into the channel straight away. Um, you can already see that the VK-100-01P is not a really quick attack, but it packs a nice bunch. Uh, ooh, that's unfortunate. What, what are you doing, G62? What are you doing? Why park in front of the German heavy tank? Why, why park in the city in the first place in the front line? That's not where you should be. Um, Devil Dog is moving forward because he realizes that a lot of the red team is over here and uh, Devi is a guy who really pushes forward like a boss. And he bounces on the side of the mutant. That's important. He's mounting the uh, smaller gun, the stock gun, which does 310 uh, with alpha damage and is, well, in terms of rate of fire and DPM, not the best gun to have, actually. I like the other one gun more, uh, the other, other one, the other gun more because of uh, the alpha damage and uh, the DPM. This one, it's a bit on the low side for the alpha damage it provides and for the tanks you will be facing but as long as you can hold positions like this and can wiggle 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 oh, no 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 geez, no 62 go away go away go away stay away go away clear the flanks you are in a completely wrong position there's a tiger p over there there's a tiger one over there there's a tank destroyer over there what are you doing just what are you doing amx 5100 is clear that is good yet another shot bounce he is going to lose hit points from the jack one two no he bounces that one as well come to the tiger then yeah there we go we go wiggle angle up towards the tiger p already that one misses the cupola we can bounce just from the tiger that's a tc type 62 down that was to be expected but devil then turns around he moves backwards so the t49 cannot circle in and that means he still has all the tanks in front of him in front of him. That's the first bit of damage he's taken from the Tiger, uh, Tiger P. 201 damage, 194 damage now done. And he wants to clear that T49. Hello, T49. I can shoot you now. Thank you very much. Reds in the meantime are capturing A. They are taking out his rem remaining teammates one by one. <laughs> T15. <laughs> Desperate to get stuck in. That's all your playlists. You just drop off a wall and get stuck. Um, what's that? It is a Yak. Panther flanking, good situational awareness over here. Can we get a uh, shot in? Yes, we can, but you do have the lower gun. So even if you haven't in voller Wicht, that's really bad English and uh, German combined, but even if you hit him for a really lovely little shot, then uh, you would have killed him with a bigger gun. But then again, you can uh, clear him now. Lovely stuff. 2-1-2 two two left in terms of tanks done. Five kills for each team and no bases captured, <laughs> even if it is supremacy. It's not like any of the teams had, both teams had me, my tank just, why wasn't it possible uh, uh, to cap? I don't know, uh, it happens from time to time. Uh, Devi is in the meantime at 679 hit points left and he clears the yard, uh, he, clears, he clears the tiger, cleared the yard pointer already and he wants to clear the tiger B now, but he doesn't know where the tank is. And the Borsig is running. So what do you do when a Borsig is running? You uh, take your... Oh, hello, Tiger. There you are. Right, bounce another one. Which is a bit lucky, I think, because he was side-on. The side armor on the uh, VK-100 OMP is a bit troll. Hello, Tiger B. You are going to pop. Yes, you are. There we go. Ugh. On the tracks. Ugh. Takes damage. Yeah. Repairs. 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 It's ammo because the DPM isn't brilliant. You do have that uh, adrenaline still there, but you want to get, uh, you want to be able to shoot tanks. And he's going towards the B cap because the Tiger P was going towards B as well by the looks of it. Uh, Noob RHM. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, that RHM would have been better off to just sit between A and B cap. On that uh, pedestal, that, that higher area on the encounter cap, and just then roll around. And now he should have just moved away. Or get on the other side, you should have been on the higher part, near the pillar, you would have had cover. And at first I was thinking, Devi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you going to what see? Help your teammates. But then he starts capturing C, and there's the Tiger P again, and the Tiger P clears the Borsig. 
But by the time the tiger is ready to recapture A, Devi has already captured C. And that means that no matter what the tiger do, unless he manages to clear Devi uh, in time, they will win the game on supremacy points. This is supremacy one on one. And you can see Devi is already angling up. He then turns the tank on the spot, moves left because he knows the tiger will want to come towards the B cap. He can hide his cupola behind the building and he will probably be able to win this in a DPM trade if he bounces one or two shots. But does the tiger come all the way over that? No, he comes over right in front, puts a lovely little shot in. Then he is going to bounce one, I think. Yeah, there is. That is the bounce he needs because he now pops the adrenaline. And this is just a matter of staying alive now. Trying to wiggle, trying to wiggle. Can you make a miss? Oh, take damage, come on. The Tiger Pops is running as well. This is going to be really tight. This is going to be really tight. 930, 935, another damage. Shoot the Cupola, yes we can, and we bounce. You should be able to take this one out now. Yeah, the Ravi tank. <laughs> nice one, Devi. Well played. I was fearing for a loss when you moved towards the sea cap, but in the end, it turned out just fine and that means that you aced the vk 101p on a supremacy match 4k damage done five kills redley walters 1565 um, xp so that's it for today ladies and gentlemen tangles of bridge universe best blitz replays episode number 12 thank you very much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you all in the next one cheers and happy tanking